like golfing, there ain't much for you. Uh, our buddy Drew Coz of today is uh, finding his inner caddy shack and getting his golf swing ready at the Golf Dome. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, you two. I've learned a very important step for beginners that I think is worth sharing. Okay, okay wait, may I? Can I guess? Okay, go. Uh, borrow your grandma's clubs. Hey, listen, Aww. these clubs that my grandma gave me, uh, Jim was telling me that they're like antique clubs, so you could be making fun of me right now, and then I could be having fancy lunches and dinners once I hawk these things. Unless grandma's watching, in which case, grandma, <laughs> thank Love you for them. the clubs. <laughs> Love them. Uh, so if you use your grandma's clubs, that's great. Just take good care of them in case you need to sell them on Kijiji. But the real step that I wanted to tell you guys is when you're first starting out, if you're a beginner, you're spending way more time setting up your shot than actually taking your shot. I would agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so less set up, more swing. That's right. So you want to be making sure that you're getting into the proper stance and doing a lot of technical things. There's actually seven steps that you want to do to make sure that you're starting off your golf game right. And to tell us a little bit more about that, I'd like to introduce you to Jim Roy. So Jim, you've been teaching here at the Golf Dome for six years, but you've been working in the golf industry for a very, very long very time. Long time. Yes, and this technique that we've taught for beginners is, works fabulously. It's, uh, it's so easy for them to control that and get back on track. And I even work with really good players and one of these seven steps obviously fall off the planet and they have to go and review them. But it, it's, a, it's a wonderful technique and we'll get you back on one step closer to the PGA Tour. I like this. Now you mentioned that you worked with some really good players, so we're going to try something different now and you're going to work with a not very good player. But I, I can tell. You can, <laughs> you can help me out though, there's faith. So it starts with grip, number yeah, one, left, right? Left hand goes on the club first. Left hand thumb, first. Thumb down the shaft, the knuckles facing the target where you're aiming. Okay. The right hand goes, the little finger just rests. You have to remember that the hands are the only part of the body that's attached to this club. So they have, they are what control the head of the club. So all the control comes from the hands? From the hands. So the angle of the club is always at 12 o'clock, meaning that if it's 2 o'clock, it's always got to be square. Okay. Step two. Step three is the stance. It's shoulder widths apart for a good solid base. Okay, so... The ball, but the ball position is always inside the left heel, so the angle of contact is always the same way. It's not back, it's not forward. So every club we teach beginners, inside the left heel is your contact. Point. Okay. To get the legs into the swing, you have to flex the knees, somewhat like a baseball player always stands with the knees flexed because leg drive is very important in golf. Number six is the Posture, if we stand too upright, it uh -huh. causes the club to go straight up oh. and come straight down, topping the ball. Chopping so wood. This, this flex of the legs, kind of stick the rear out a little bit, lowers the level of gravity, so the swing is more of a sweeping motion. Okay. And number seven, the one that is the, diff the distance that you're standing from the ball, you extend the arms out. This tells you how far you should be, because we're all different heights, different mm -hmm. lengths. Bring the club down it should always hit at the ball. So this tells us that you're too far from the ball. So I gotta take a little step so forward or if, reach more? If you didn't know that, therefore when you're reaching it, causes the club to go inside baseball swing, which is incorrect, and the club, the ball would go off the toe of the club. Okay. So we, this is a self-teaching key for, for a beginner because that way if they're hitting the ball constantly off the toe and it puzzled why they have, this is what they check. This is a drill that they know how far they should be standing. And once you've learned these seven steps, it'll start to become natural. The more you do it, you'll That's start right. doing these what automatically. Happens with, what happens with people we teach, even during the lesson, they can we can see that the first two or three parts of it, they're doing well, they're struggling with the flex of the knees, then we can concentrate. Everything else is good. They're standing too upright. We can concentrate on that. And that way we get them before. This is all pre-shot before the actual swinging of the golf cart. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Jim. We're out of time, but if you want to get in touch with Jim to work on either your beginner game or if you've been doing this for a while and need some extra finesse to really control that ball, he is available for lessons here through the Golf Dome. And we've got that contact info on our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. We're taking a quick break here on BT. More to come later today on City. All right,